Good day. Welcome to multiple career development pathways. Many people say that life is a journey. As you begin your mission to help plan your career, let us start by envisioning your life in the future. Anong klaseng pamumuhay ang nais mong maranasan? Or what kind of life do you want to live? This will going to focus on goal setting and visioning. You must identify your purpose and goals as a student that has a sense of direction. However, you may have also different options. If you have lack of flexibility, then this will going to prevent you from adapting to the changes, challenges, and opportunities that may come your way as you pursue your individual life's journey. Let's try to watch the video of Cagayan Valley to Silicon Valley, Filipino Bill Gates, Dato Banatao. My name is Dado Banatao. I come from the north. My father was a farmer. I am an engineer. I grew up in a typical barrio in Cagayan Valley. Back then, there was no electricity, no telephones. I was taught math by moving bamboo sticks. There were no luxuries. Almost all of my classmates stopped going to school after sixth grade to help in the fields. But my father never asked me to help him. He wanted a better life for me. He made it clear his job was to keep food on the table. My job was to study. I went to high school far from my home. I felt inferior to the other students. They were from the city. I was the son of a farmer. When my friends played basketball, I studied. I fell in love with engineering. I wanted to build things. But when I graduated from Mapua, there were no design jobs for engineers in the Philippines. So, I moved to America. I applied for a master's in engineering at Stanford University. I was excited, but I was also so intimidated. Everyone seemed smarter than I was. So I studied twice as hard. I saw an opportunity to design better computer chips, and I started a company. That company failed. No one told me that I could do it. I had to tell myself that I could, and so I tried it again. This time, we succeeded. My success is a direct result of my beginnings. It is the same will and determination that every Filipino possesses. Our country is one of the fastest growing economies in Asia. But over 30% of our people still live like I did growing up. But my life shows a different path is possible. It is why I started FILDEV. We imagine the Philippines where every school has internet, where deserving students are given scholarships so they never have to stop learning, where thousands of young Filipinos start companies that hire millions more. We know hardship. It's time we learn success. I am not so special. 
but I am determined. My story could be your story. As Filipinos, it must be our story. So we have noticed the importance in setting the right goals and the need to start doing small steps in order to achieve your goals. Here are some questions that you can ask with yourself right now so that you can be directed to your path. Where am I now? What is my present role in my family community? Where do I want to be five years from now? Where do I want to be? How can I get there? What do I need to do in order to reach my plans? And what kind of life do I dream of for myself and my family? We can talk about some of our takeaways of this video that we have watched. For you, what is career planning and why it is important to you as a student? Why is career planning not a one-time decision, but a series of decisions that you make? What should you consider in career planning for a future career? And what are the things or what are the basis of career planning? You must recognize the importance of having a personal vision in career planning. When we talk about career planning, this is a lifelong process that focuses on making a decision to help you manage your future work and personal life in general. This means that planning your career is not separate from planning the rest of your life. So we have a worksheet here, and this will going to help you set your future career directions, the things that you value, such as personal interest and your dream job. So let's try to have the following. We're going to read each question carefully. If in case you have some questions or clarification, you may consult your teacher for further explanation. And you can share with your peers during the group interaction. For the setting, where do I like to live? Do I prefer to stay in one place or would I like to move to a new location? For work, what type of work will they like to do? What is my ideal work environment? What business do I plan to start? Relationships. Who would I like to spend time with? Family, friends, or do I prefer to spend more time by myself? What types of activities do I enjoy doing with the people in my life? For the immediate goals, what do I want to do within the next one to three years? Long-term goals. What are my career plans after high school? What kind of career should I like to pursue? So can you tell us by answering this question on what is career planning and why it is important for you as a student? Is this necessary or not? For the next tool that we have, this is about self-assessment of your interests and talents. Many people say that you need to be good at what interests you. Look back at your classroom experiences and activities. Recall the subject areas that caught your interest and list down remarkable achievements related to subject areas. For example, for instance, grade 7, 8, 9, and 10. Which subjects are you interested in? What activities or projects in the said subjects have you accomplished? In which subjects did you perform best? And what are your talents? In which subjects were you able to perform this talents? You will be able to do grade 8, 9, and 10. Let's try to rate your skills. If you're highly skilled, then you have to mark 
or color the four stars. This means that you can do this task all time without supervision. If it is three stars, you are skilled. You can do tasks with minimum supervision. Two, moderately skilled. You can do this task with content supervision. And one, unskilled. I cannot do tasks without this supervision. This includes written communication, your ability to write clearly and concisely and convey information to different leaders, verbal communication, the ability to use spoken words to convey message clearly in a conversation or to a larger audience, problem solving, devising, and then using appropriate method or rule, technique, or logic to solve problem, teamwork, cooperating with and supporting others in order to achieve a common goal, analytical ability, being able to pick out the key issues from a large component or amount of complex information. We also have the creative thinking, being original and innovative in order to solve problems, generate ideas or produce designs, Numeracy, the ability to understand and interpret facts and ideas expressed in figures and nonverbal data. Leadership, the ability to guide, direct, motivate, and take responsibility for others. Commercial awareness, having an understanding and appreciation of the organization and how it makes a profit or acquires a funding. Decision making, this is the ability to select a logical choice by considering outcomes of each option and determining the best for the situation. Negotiating, the ability to deliberate with others in order to come to an agreement that is appropriate and beneficial to all. Persuading, being able to influence the attitude and perspective of others. Self-motivation, being proactive and willing to take the initiative, setting and achieving goal. Time management, the ability to organize your work priorities and what needs to be done to meet deadlines. Flexibility, the ability to carry out a variety of tasks, work in different situations, and manage change in your life and in your work. Let's talk about activity two, tool five. You have a career cluster is a group of jobs that acquire similar skills or share common characteristics. You have to choose a career cluster that interests you most by shading the heart besides the statement that apply to you. Then we're going to add up the number of shaded hearts in its group. So we have here cluster A, cluster B, cluster C, D, E, and F. Now, if you, all of your answers fall down to cluster A, then it will be arts and design, B for sports, C, technical, vocational, and livelihood, D, accountancy, business, and management, E, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, F, humanities, and social sciences, and the last one, G, will be for general academic. For your assignment, you have to ask this to your parents. Ano ang mga horsong gusto kong kunin? Bakit ko gusto ang mga ito? Bakit ko masabing bagay ang mga ito sa akin? And what have you learned from this activity? And then you also have to ask your parent, what best careers are likely suited for my child? Why do I think my child will be well suited for the careers I listed? What factors did I consider in choosing these careers for my son or daughter? And what have you discovered about this activity? And we're going to answer this one tomorrow. Bye. See you next time.